Greetings everyone and welcome back to Cities Skylines and of course to the Green Cities DLC and the city of Avaki where we've currently got a concert going on by Lilibru. Now then, in today's episode we're going to be popping down a couple of new services more or less straight away and one of them is the taxi rank. I feel that uh, having a couple of taxis at least in the city centre makes a lot of sense. Now, how big is this? It's actually quite a large building, to be fair. Oh, uh, wait, no, that's the bus station, my bad. Uh, there we go. There's the taxi depot and the taxi rank. I'm not sure how big that is, but uh, we'll have to find out. But the taxi depot, that can go more or less anywhere, really. Um, it's a three-wide structure. I would like it to be somewhere in the center, though. Uh, perhaps somewhere around here, maybe. We, we could try and fit it in somewhere like this. Uh, sure, we can, we can pop it down there. That shouldn't be too bad. Now, how big is it? Oh, that's fantastic. I approve. Whenever you've not got something to do, go and wait by the train station, please. So there we go. There is a uh, taxi depot, a taxi rank, rather. When a taxi cab is not busy, it will return to the closest taxi stand to wait for a fare, unless a taxi depot is closer. So that's one. Now, I wonder if that's going to work much like a, a taxi rank does, isn't it? The, someone can just call the taxi depot and the taxi will be dispatched, or they can walk to the taxi rank, and that uh, would help them out a little bit. Uh, we'll see, because I can see a couple of the cars moving around already where are they off to probably all over the place really um i'll drop in a few of these because it does make a bit of sense to have them dotted around uh, i wouldn't strictly want the taxi rank right there though i would prefer the taxi rank to be somewhere in here so perhaps an extension of the road is in order now let's get to that then so you're gonna have to go there and we'll just draw this road out just a wee bit to about there there we go that should be enough for our taxi rank to go in there. And bump. There we are. So we've got a couple of taxis right next to the bus depot. And that's one, two. I think we could do with one more, maybe. If we can find a nice little spot for it. Uh, we could have one. Well, actually, you know what? Having one near the uh, concert hall makes an awful lot of sense when you think about it, doesn't it? And if I popped it here, yes, I would lose a rather large building. But, if I popped it there, I could have that path connecting up, just to make it look nicer. Or I could just pop it in here, where I would, uh, yeah, we'd lose a, a large a large building, but we'd have much better connection with these two locations. I think that works out quite well. I mean, we've got a couple now, but uh, these are basically the hubs for our city. These are the most often visited uh, tourist attractions or uh, destinations for our citizens, for, such as the university and, in fact, the, the, the depot there. So I think that makes a lot of sense. Okay, that's good enough for me. It doesn't cost too much for us to have that being uh, set up there. Okay, so what is the RCI like today? The RCI is quite in favour of industry and a wee bit more commercial. Also, how are we doing for power? We're doing amazingly for power. Water is doing fine as well. Not as great, but uh, tolerable within within uh, reasonable uh, levels, I would say. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try and uh, lighten this little area up a bit because it's going to be right next to this, which is going to be primarily used for services, I'm going to be honest. We could have something a little bit more like that and then straighten this out a bit until we connect up there. Uh, it's not quite right, is it? So let's bring it down here instead and then have a, a little curve in the road. There we go. That's a bit nicer. Right, with that there, we will then... Do I really want them? I really don't want want too many people parking along these, these roads. This is a commercial district, and I, I generally feel that uh, commercial districts shouldn't have lots of cars parked along the roads because it just makes everything more awkward. As a general rule, I mean, 
I would... There are... I keep saying this all the time. I'm going to try and try and rein in there. There are mods to do this. But there are mods that allow you to place car parks, is what I was going to say. And that makes a lot of sense. Um, to have regular car parks in a commercial district. Because you need to be able to get in there and park your car if you drive. I mean, ideally, you want to uh, restrict the amount of driving that's going on. But uh, if I could play some car parks, I'd feel a lot better about removing those those uh, locations there, but yeah, we can't. So I guess we're just gonna have to live with it for now. Uh, I'm gonna make a little bit of a pedestrian path here, I think. Let's just draw this, oh, no, wrong place. Turn off uh, road guidelines. There we are, we'll just have a nice path connecting straight up there. That should be uh, fairly easy for us to use. And we'll have another, another one just sort of ambling down and across around here until hmm, that isn't quite where i wanted it something like this let's try and not mess well actually i guess it doesn't matter too much at this point it's kind of uh split a lot of the a lot of the buildings there regardless um now we've got to have a reason for that that bend in the path and so let's make one let's pop this in there Get a couple of low bushes just moving around here. And maybe a, uh, some of the flowering trees, because they're always significantly smaller than the others. They actually look quite pretty, I think. There they are. Just uh, a few more. And there they go. Lovely. Right, okay. So, zoning, which is why we, we set this place up to begin with. I'm thinking... Sure, we can... Start going down to the low density commercial, I think, around here. As, as we're moving further away from this kind of uh, central area, I'd like the, the density of the buildings to start to decrease. And so we can have a, a nice slope. As I've mentioned, I'm very, very keen on having a slope to the skyline. Uh, and that isn't because the game is called City Skylines. No, no, no. It's just because I feel that uh, it, it looks nicer if there's a natural, natural curve in the sky. There we go. There we are. Your eyes will follow the skyline a little bit more more uh, organically. It's, it's quite pretty, I think. But, that being said, the uh, the regular density buildings don't actually get that tall anyway. And we'll finish that off with a couple more offices just dotted around there. In fact, we might have an office in there. Yeah, let's uh, get rid of those and pop an office in there. I'd actually like these ones not to be as deeply built back. We'll actually just have two along there. There we go. I think that'll actually look lovely. Now, we need to make sure that they've got plenty of water. As I am often um, guilty of forgetting. There we go. And that should do nicely for our services there. All right. That's about as far back as we're going to be taking these ones, I think. We may build this out in this direction a little bit more. It depends a bit. Uh, we don't need much more in the way of commerce, which mm, we've got a lot there to develop, but uh, we do need a lot of industry. So that's something we are probably going to focus on now. And just to um, point this out, I'm not sure. I did have to cut a fair bit of like downtime and uh, just finicking around with positioning of stuff in the last episode, and it may be the case that uh, in the cuts, one of the one of the ca casualties one of 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 the uh, the cutting was where I noticed that this was the wrong way and I fixed it, or, or I think it was this one actually. Um, quite quite amused by the amount of comments. I knew I was going to get some because it took me oh, I don't know about at least ten minutes to notice that there was a problem there, and uh, I commented in the in the video at the time. Ah, oh, I'm going to get so many comments, but I think I may have actually taken that bit out accidentally. So yes, don't worry. I had noticed before the end of the last episode that that was that was all screw with because of the one way streets and had fixed it. Thank you very much for letting me know though. I do appreciate it when you catch me in my derps and uh, make sure I don't don't do too hard terribly hard now have we got many taxis can we actually follow the taxis let's have a look uh taxis did that show up here it might not actually hmm okay well how how not do i see then do i just look around and see the green cars on the road or something um hmm i mean there's no strict line i guess so that makes sense but 
kind of want to be able to monitor this. Like, how many, how many taxis do we have? Taxis in use, 25 of 25. Oh, okay. Um, fair enough. Uh, quite a lot of people say that we need to pay off our loans. Thing is, the way that loans work, unless you are borrowing from a loan shark, your loans will never have such interest, or at least a responsible lending um, provider will not give you a loan with such interest that you will never pay it off. They want it to be quite close, but realistically, they're only going to give you a loan they think you can pay back. Otherwise, that's really unethical, also dumb, because you could go bankrupt, and then they have to say, oh, well, we've lost the money because we can't take it back off you. Unless you're a loan shark, in which case they'll take part of your body instead. But they pay themselves off over time. I didn't need to expressly pay them back because they were paid back ages ago because that, that's just the way the loans work. So everyone who's still telling me I need to pay back the loans, no, it's okay. I haven't taken out any new loans. I know it can be uh, quite common for someone um, to take out more and more loans as time goes on if they're having um, some problem. They keep refreshing the loans. But we haven't needed to be there for an incredibly long time, so I just let it pay itself off. Um, right, everything seems to be going okay here. We are now sending... Uh, Oh, what's happening there? Are we leveling up? Oh, we are. Marvellous. We've got traffic going up there, which is all good. And some of our freight will be making its way into the district. And they've actually managed to build it all up, which I'm moderately impressed with, actually. Uh, we are going to pop down some more offices, though, simply because we need them. There we go. That should do. And you know what? We don't need any other small commercial in here so I'm just gonna pop down a couple of tiny offices maybe one of these tiny tiny offices will be a little letting agency or something to help with uh, all of the student housing let's bring that down here that would be nice because you wouldn't have to travel very far in order to get to your letting agent to uh, discuss matters um, hopefully there'll be uh, several several uh, repair companies around here that, that would uh, be able to respond to a leaky faucet or, you know, a, a block toilet with with the sort of rapidity that my letting agents never seem to have. <sighs> there are pros and cons to renting. Getting things fixed is not one of them. Not having to pay for them to be fixed is, though. So, you know, you take the good with the bad, I suppose. Right. Over here, I think that we can expand out Radiant Gardens quite a lot, though. But uh, at the moment, things are just growing gently. And I like that. I like that a lot, actually. So, with that in mind, we're going to drop down a couple more things here and there. One of them is going to be a high-capacity road into... Well, actually, no. No. I've got a, a completely different idea for this place. We're going to take... Regular road. We're going to start about here. We're going to branch off. This, well, actually, let's try and branch off a little bit more evenly. Let's branch off up here. Something to around about there, I'm thinking. And then straight down. There we go. I want this road to not be quite as aggressive. So let's cut that back. And we're going to actually have quite a large turn here. As you can see, there we are. But this is otherwise, you know, a, a fairly solid road. Mm. Do I really? Is that going to really look okay for the aesthetic I'm going for? I mean, it makes sense for for zoning purposes. No, no. See, this is going to be a farm area. I don't want that. Sorry, truck. Sorry. I know. I know. I'm I'm wishy washy. I'm so wishy washy sometimes when it comes to what I, what I'm designing. But hopefully, the end results are always worth the wishy washiness. Right. So now we're going to have a bit of a winding road that just kind of ambles through all the way to a couple of points like this and this one just up there there we go that looks a bit better as one of the main roads that is going to be servicing this farming area uh, additionally it did it has been pointed out and i was kind of aware of this i was just trying to hide from it really because it costs so much but yeah all of all of these now i've moved them really far out from the uh from the actual main uh roads useless Effectively, because the the fire trucks won't be able to actually reach them. So what we're going to need to do then is place down a fire um, helicopter depot and uh, pay for it as well. Uh, that's the part that I don't like. This is the part where I'm having to pay. 
where would be a good place for this? Because it's a fairly large structure, actually. I could pop it up there, but if I could fit it in. I, that would actually amuse me. Greatly, in fact. Sure, let's let's build this up and you can you can just exist over here because I don't really think it matters where I put you. Uh, Alright, let's uh, get a little bit of terraforming done then. Okay, there we go. We can now fit it in. Bump! We now have a rather expensive, but not needing of roads, fire service. Hooray! Oh, and one other thing a lot of people have been pointing out, that one of the problems with traffic is because I don't have any way for them to simply turn around. Yeah, good call. I hadn't factored that in, and that was rather silly of me, really. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop down uh, a wee road right there, if I can. Right there, to give them uh, a point where they can just turn. Uh, they can go up there, come back down, and same on this side. Go up there, come back down. That will allow my trucks, if they want to be on the other side of the road, they can just they can just change change sides. There we go. And there we are, with a nice little bit of a turn there. Perfect. We're going to need to do that for each and every one, especially these ones, because they are quite far away. In fact, this one can be a little bit further along, actually. There we go. That gives them a, that gives them a little bit of a, an easier time turning. And down here, same deal. So one there. Can we fit this in? One there as well. There we are. That, that will somewhat improve the situation. <laughs> not, not amazingly. Especially now we've got lights everywhere. Ah, traffic lights. The Demon Vanny City. Let's get rid of you. There we are. And make sure these do not have them. There we go. We really don't want them because that's just going to lock them in there. And that one's actually okay. Cool. Right. I noticed that you are unfortunately full. So let's uh, start getting uh, getting the dead out of there. Now let's have a quick look. How many dead are they in the city? They shouldn't actually be that many because our death care is quite good at this point. I still get uh, quite a few comments saying that the city is full of dead people and needs to be sorted out. I think well, what may be happening is sometimes people see there's a sudden flood of death in the city and that's just because there's a large aging population here and they all seem to die around the same time. Um, and so suddenly, our uh, otherwise okay death care service is overwhelmed. Because really, you want to you wanna build for the, the normal usage, not the peak. Otherwise, you're wasting a lot of money. Uh, what is with the walk to work? Showering with bottled water is getting a bit expensive. Uh... But... I... Huh? I don't understand. Don't understand. Apparently, though, I'm meant to build a couple of these. I'm not sure about that, because they're bloody expensive, but... Um, I can drop one or two more down, I suppose. I've got enough money to be able to take that, but uh, I was told that I need to pop them into uh, an area like this, so, and then they'll, as a group, be able to uh, clean up the water. Sure, okay, we'll, we'll give it a shot. I'm not sure it's, it's, it's going to work that way, though, but uh, we'll, we'll try. For posterity, we will try. Now, over here, what I have uh, in mind with this little area is a bit, of a, a bit of a change, a bit of a departure from our otherwise fairly stocky zones down there. We're still going to be using these kinds of roads here and there, fairly frequently, in fact. But we're going to be stepping away from having the large areas full of farms into something a little bit more, I don't know, idyllic, I guess. The way I, I see farms. There we are. And something down here as well. Now, this is going to mean that there's going to be significantly less farming going on. And I need you to brace for that, because those of you who care about efficiency, as I know many of you do, this is possibly going to hurt your brains a bit. And for that, I am genuinely sorry. I don't ever set out to hurt anyone's brains. Least of all my own. And uh, my, my own actually uh, are probably the victim of my random whims more often than not. But hopefully this is going to be nice. We're going to have much more sparsely set up farming uh, buildings around here, I think. 
and it should look lovely in the end. And that's that's my hope at the, at the very least. So bring that down there, and we'll have just a, a little cut in there, and then a turn down again. Can we get you to connect properly? Uh, that'll do, sure. And this one can connect up towards the uh, road over there. There we are. You may already be able to tell what I'm I'm going to try and do. I think that's a, that's enough for now. Now the problem here is it's going to get really far apart. So pylons are going to be the order of business in this era area, but it should be nice as a result, I think. So. For this little zone over here, we're going to have more agriculture, so I'm going to need to uh, set that out as a new district. Let's uh, start here, and just build it up. We only need to cover this little part for now. There we are, Crescent District. Doesn't look like much of a crescent to me, but sure. Crescent is in the eye of the beholder, I suppose. Uh, right, so we want nice, large, square areas like this set up. And maybe we'll have another one just over there. And in between, we're going to go with trees. Lots and lots of trees. Bamboo trees. No, that won't do. Uh, what other kinds of trees have we got? We've got some flowering trees. Yeah, you know what? One or, one or two of these, maybe along the route here and there, would do okay. But for the most part, we want a couple of oak trees. One, two, maybe something just down there. And then... Uh, bushes and the like, just filling this little area out. Now, a lot of this I'll do off camera, but I just want to show you what I'm going to be generally aiming for. Little, little rows of trees. I'm not being particularly precise, and you could put a lot more effort into uh, making sure that this is precise if you really wanted to, and I encourage you to if you uh, do something like this yourselves. Because I think it does give a really lovely, lovely look and feel to uh, the little farms, because it actually looks like we've got larger fields. Now, I believe that you could get like painting tools and paint through this and make it look proper like a like a, an actual field was set up there, but this will do for now. We're just going to have discrete little areas separated like this. We've got quite a few farm buildings there. I might actually want to decrease the density of the uh, buildings in here to help with that. We'll have a look. I'm not sure about all of these farm buildings being there. In fact, that one specifically I don't like. So we're going to take you away. Sorry. Bye. There we go. And then we're going to just have lots of little fields like this just set up here and there, hither and yon, to uh, make sure that our farmers have some nice, uh, nice little uh, fields and, and pastures for their animals. And again, you could get the tools so that you could paint the districts if you wanted to. And I actually do encourage that because it, it can lead to a really beautiful thing. Because you can basically paint the fields a certain colour so it looks like crops. And that that really, really brings this effect together. Let's uh, go over there and follow the road up. There we go. And connect down there. Perfect. That should be good enough. Right, I'm going to go ahead and continue to uh, develop this out. And I'll bring you back when we're ready. There aren't going to be too many jobs created by this little area, but there's a part of me that, that likes that idea, actually. It's definitely a part of me that appreciates the idea of this being a much uh, much more low-key little little place. This That can be like a little shed for this, this larger farm here, because that one's going to be a fairly big one, I think. And then we'll probably have a, another little something down there as well as, a, as its own little farm. Anyway, bring you back soon. Okay, I think I'm going to uh, rein myself in there. I've spent a long time decorating, as you might notice if you pay attention. This is basically the simulation been running the whole time. Um, as you can see, things look quite nice, but we are hitting worker shortages. So I'm going to hold off there and, and stop putting any more effort into this district until we actually have the workers to support it because eventually I would like this to be enormous and very much like this and you do have to have it kind of spread out in order to to create that kind of effect but as you can see I have used the smallest bush as the kind of the the main paint uh, the main brush 
for the hedges and I've just dotted trees and, and larger bushes around just to break it up a little bit and make it nicer. I've also put in some actual paths around just to change the shape of the land and drop in a couple of uh, uh, further bushes here and there. And generally I've made this place look like an actual farm. Now again, they're not going to plant the fields, you're never going to see uh, animals in them, which is a bit of a shame, but again I think you, you can actually get tools which will allow for that. This one hasn't developed yet, but it will eventually. The uh, main thing I would say to take away from this, paint the field first. Have an idea of what the outline is going to be and then just a leap bit as necessary to make it look like the entrances make sense. For example, I had um, hedges all the way around here and I just had to delete a couple just to make it look like you actually did have access to the buildings. Um, likewise, uh, the pylons actually look really good here. Just moving through the fields, I really like that. And just a couple of superfluous paths, just to break up the fields a little bit and make it look a little bit better. But I actually think that looks really, really nice. And it looks especially nice in the day. Let's uh, speed things up so that uh, the day will come, the, the morning will break, and we'll be able to look at this little district in its splendor. Now, as I said, <clears throat> a lot of time had passed. Uh, this is a very time-intensive way of playing City Skylines. The, the decoration here, very time intensive, especially with just vanilla tools. And depending on the way you like to play and what you actually find um, valuable, you might assign different amounts of value to the, the, the net result. So, you know, this might not be for everyone, but I certainly like it and I'll, I'll try to do that. Probably off camera, quite a lot of it, but uh, throughout the city I'll just do little things like this. Just just make it look a little bit little bit nicer, a little bit more like it, it's actually uh, a, a real area and the, the people have, have tended these lands uh, down. A couple of these farms actually have a lot of space. Uh, this one specifically, because I imagine all of the buildings being here they all belong to the same farm these ones up here as well a little bit and later on we'll, we'll have a couple of really big farms you know the the sort of old money kinds of farms been in the, been in the family for many 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 uncounted generations and uh, as time went on they just bought up more land and more land other farmers you know other herds and eventually they've got a, like a, a giant farm um, but with that I think we're going to get back to Shaping up a Radiant Garden. I think so. Alright, so for this one, I'm going to want... No, we don't want one ways, nor do we want anything that's going to restrict parking for the time being. Not that Radiant Garden really uses parking too much. So, as a, due to the um, focus on not using cars. Ah, damn, that's a little bit too close. Okay, let's drive this back a bit then, I guess. Uh, let's bring you out there, and up that way. It's not quite what I wanted, but it'll do. And we'll take you all the way up here. In fact, we're going to take you up to there, and then have a curve. A regular curve, though, so a measured one. About there. Start bringing things back along. There we go, and we could have it hook up to the main road. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so with that, I'm going to say it's probably about time that we actually start splitting this little area up. I feel that we need to have a road just leaving out from here. Maybe, well, actually, that road right there is not too bad. Hmm. If I bring this up to about there, I know we have, we have to cut off a few things, but we can have a nice little curve here. So, yeah, I think that looks like actually quite nice. Uh, again, we're not going to be building up against this road. For the most part, I don't don't want to. I don't want to see my uh, my people building their houses on a road like that. But we'll probably bring it quite close to that road and use paths to restrict access and where where houses can be built. We'll have a little road jumping up there. Uh, we do want areas where we can have parks in here. In fact, I would like some more terraces. As you may have noticed, I'm rather fond of them. So let's get that one there. This one down to there. And, oh, Okay, this one's going to have to be a bit of a smaller one then. There we are. That'll do. And finally, just a, a little something built up. Uh, to about there, I'd say, sure. 
then we can have a path meeting app. So if we turn off the road guidelines, that's honestly one of the, the hardest ones to use the path for, in my opinion. And then, can we also turn off the grid? Nope, angle rather. There we go, that's what I wanted. Just want to connect it up there. There we go. Uh, is there any room? I don't think so, not there. But that being said, this actually does count as a path, I think. No, it doesn't. It doesn't have any connection nodes. Ah, uh, that's a shame. You can often tell if something will count as a path or not if it has um, little nodes on the outskirts. Uh, let me find a park which I can demonstrate that with. Now that one's a cemetery. Almost a park, but not quite. Uh, we should have one around here, I'm fairly certain. There we go. This one actually does have nodes along these points because it is effectively an asset built of paths. And you can make your own assets and perhaps later on, if there's any interest in that, I'll uh, I'll demonstrate that. I'll have a, a little special episode where all I do is uh, make a couple of assets to be able to pop into the city here and there. Let's uh, have this branch up like so. Just uh, a little way up towards the shopping um, I'm really sorry but I really really want it. no I don't want it that bad okay I guess I guess not then you're just gonna have to be able to walk over there yeah I'm not gonna delete that whole whole building just tonight uh, we'll have a little path between this district uh, sorry this terrace there and definitely have another one down about here. Pop that in there. There we go. Let's make a lot of ways for our for our pedestrians to actually get around. I think that's quite important. Uh, and with that, I actually do want to continue this. Now that's specifically a bike path, so we're going to continue that along. That leads all the way up to... Can we get this in there? Kind of. Can we actually? Really? Oh, that's fantastic. I approve. Enormously. Enormous levels of approval. Uh, let's try and bend this around. And just follow the curve where we can. That's like cutting out uh, an image for the thumbnail, my lord. Right, we'll just continue this on down to about here and then curve up. Oop, not quite right. Something like that. There we go. Lovely. There we are. Now that's going to prevent us accidentally building off this in any way. Right, so with that done, let's pop down a couple more buildings, shall we? And we, again, gonna stick with the low density, because that's that's what Radiant Garden is. It's a low density, it's, it's a neighborhood rather than a, than a city block, if, uh, if that uh, makes sense. I'm sure those are not the right words, it's just the way that it works in my brain, and yeah. <laughs> My brain is a confusing place for me most of the time, let alone anyone else. So you have my sympathy in trying to do, to translate what I'm saying versus what I'm meaning, but uh, I I think it makes sense mostly. Uh, right, we'll uh, definitely have this. Up. We'll let's reserve those for a couple of little corner shops. Actually, do we want another one down here? Oops, I forgot. We have not put any water in. People need water, generally. Um, there we go, that'll do, and we'll just get the, the water pipes laid. Always get ahead of myself. There we are. And I did so well with the farms. Well, kind of. I mean, they, they did they did want for water, but I noticed it really quickly. Is what what I what I'm classing is doing well today. There we go. And we're gonna want something just down in the middle and then across there. We can connect it to make a little bit of a loop. There we go. Right, that should be lovely. Radiant Gardens is actually starting to shape up quite nicely, I must say. Quite nicely indeed. I'm actually going to upgrade this road, though. I want that one to be a little bit prettier to uh, block out some of the noise pollution there. There we go. Um, in fact, you know what? Sure, we'll uh, take it all the way down and follow the outskirts. But we won't go much further than that. There we are. That should uh, build up. We've got quite a demand for commercial right now. That is nice to see. Very nice to see because we want to uh, continue building out this area. And then we'll uh, start building out the residential over there, of course. But uh, for now, actually, let's have a quick look. Electricity is doing fine. Uh, water is generally doing okay. Garbage collection is starting to, starting to hurt again, actually. Hmm. 
We may need to have a look into that. Also, let's go and see. Has this made any appreciable difference? It is, I think. You know what? I think it is. I think it genuinely is starting to uh, cut into that pollution a bit. Huh. Maybe. Maybe that was worth the money we were investing in it. That being said, uh, fairly soon I'm going to start replacing more of these with the uh, water treatment plants because they are significantly better in, in more or less every way in terms of dealing with, uh, with the sewage pollution. Uh, next thing, let's just have a quick check. How are things doing? Oh my lord, really? Ah, dread. I'm a derp. You all knew this. There we go. We now have a functioning Helen <laughs> Congress. I'm sure no one noticed. There's been no forest fires, I hope. Uh, how is police doing? Oh. Uh, so that's, that's why I was going to say, how did it get up to 48% crime? Still, 9% is way too high, in my opinion. Time for us to pop something down. A police helicopter, we don't need that. No way. But a police station over here might not be a bad move. Um, yeah, let's have a constabulary around here. We could even actually have it now. As much as that would make me make me kind of thrilled, this tiny little quaint police station in time in, inside a tiny little town with a couple of farms around the outskirts, like total population 100. It would there's one policeman, and there's no crime. It's basically the easiest job in the entire place, and until something like uh, hot fuzz happens, and then it's a little bit curious. But uh, no, no, we're going to reserve this. Uh, I've got a couple of spots that I have saved for placing things down, but it doesn't look like we're gonna... Oh, actually, no, 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 we can fit her in here. Can I get you to go there? Yes, I can. There we are, that should help a little bit. Perfect. Okay, you can get out there. You can do things. That song from Nesta has been playing in my, my head for the last month. Now I have the privilege to hear it up close. Bucket list, festival freak, earworm. Marvelous. I approve. Is the concert going on right now? No, there is not. But let's have a look at the... Oh, wow. Lily LaRue made 26,000 in her ticket sales last time. Honestly, you're high enough in popularity. I'm going to bump that even more. Lily LaRue actually had a popularity drop, though, at that concert, which is interesting. Very, very interesting. We'll have to see about that one in a coming episode. Now, I have absolutely no idea how much time I spent, like, in, in like, real-time time, building that little district. So, I have no idea how much I'm going to be cutting out of this. Uh, as a result, this may be a short episode, or it might be a, a fairly long one. It could go either way, really, when that happens. But uh, I enjoyed doing that, and I hope you like what it looks like and it's a bit of an idea of what you can do just even with the base vanilla tools uh, again different people will, will assign different levels of value to to the way something like that looks over something like this i mean this has significantly more jobs and it looks i mean honestly because a lot of the fields are next to each other it does look a, a, much more productive but this just looks more quaint in my mind I, I like this as my little farm but that's going to be it for this episode a bit of a bit of a decorative one We've expanded Radiant Gardens, we've also added in some taxi ranks, and generally just tidied up the place a little bit. In the next episode, the two things I want to do, Subway, between the bus stop over here and Radiant Garden, or I might even take it out to the uh, to the train station. Eh, I'm unsure on that one. And also a football stadium. We are going to be uh, exploring that for our, um, our tourist uh, attractions. I'm going to continue to try and build this place out as a destination for tourists. We'll see how successful I am over time. But I will leave you with a shot of our recently redesigned agricultural area. In in the morning sun. Well, actually in the rain. In in the in the afternoon, possibly, you know, coming into the evening rain. Which is just as good in my opinion. I like it anyway. But that's gonna be it from me. So thank you very much for joining me. I really do hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. But until then, do take care.